What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA GameStop exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo. Here we do have Michelangelo in the packaging. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and then we'll have a better look at Mikey. So stay tuned everyone. So here we have Michelangelo posing out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's take a look at what he comes with. Michelangelo does come with two different bandanas. He comes with one that has the bandana draping off to the right side. And then he has one draping off to the left side. So I do like the fact that NECA gave us the option to have it draping off to one or the other. Really good inclusion in my opinion. Mikey here also does come with two pairs of hands. He comes with a pair of grip hands for his nunchucks. And he also does come with a pair of thumbs up. So they really did give Mikey a, some party dude attitude here. Mikey's final accessories are his nunchucks, which is standard for him. It's his weapon of choice. And then, of course, he gets a slice of pizza. So really glad that they included a slice of pizza with every single turtle, as well as their classical weapons. So with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Mikey. And so here we have a closer look at Mikey, and I have to say, NECA did a phenomenal job sculpting Mikey. The expression on his face just screams Michelangelo, and I really do like it. Really glad that they went with a really nice, vibrant orange for his bandana. You can see there is a little bit of wash in there. Um, I would have preferred it if it was just straight orange, but the wash does bring out some of the detailing in it that you would have missed if it wasn't there. So really glad that NECA went all out with that. As far as the face goes, just look at how nice that face sculpt is. They actually sculpted his teeth and his tongue, which they're also painted turtles with teeth. Who knew? But I do appreciate the fact that the teeth are painted as well as the tongue. And just look at those eyes. They're open, they're wide, they're full of life. Something Michelangelo would actually be. So really good job on Mikey here. I believe he uses the same body as Donatello. I really can't see too much of a difference here. I think for the most part the turtles share piece, bits and parts here like maybe the arms and the torso piece. The shell is done with this really nice uh, dark yellow color. Although on mine unfortunately his belt is a little bit crooked. You can see it actually goes off to one side, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. And then you can see the belt goes all the way around to the back. You can see some some pins painted in the leather, so that's really cool. Again, because this is the movie Michelangelo, his elbow pads, wristbands, and knee pads are brown. The only thing that separated the turtles' color was their headbands. And basically their attitudes, but Raphael will get to when we get to him. Now something you may notice about Mikey is he doesn't have a spot for his nunchucks to actually be stored. You're right and wrong. The original costume for Michelangelo did not have any place for the nunchucks to go. So the actor just basically stuffed them in the belt like that. Which you can recreate that here. If you really want to, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm mainly going to have Michelangelo holding his nunchucks. But again, if you want to have him holster them on the side of the belt, like the actual movie, you can. That's always an option. Really loving the paint on Mikey. It's a green plastic, but they threw in some lighter green, some brown, some reds. You can see some spots throughout his skin tone. Really nice attention to detailing here. I'm pretty sure that these spots are all in the accurate places. You can see some more ties right here for his knee pads. Unlike Donnie, he does actually have a little bit of orange here. I didn't really notice too much color other than brown on Donnie, but he actually has like an orange or lighter brown on his knee pads. As well as on his elbow pads. I wonder if that's intentional or if it's a mistake. And again, we do have his feet. Two toes, not three. Ninja Turtles have two toes. I don't know why they started giving them three. Fingernails are nicely done. And something I really appreciate is that it, the way the spots look on Mikey, they look like freckles. And it does 
give him a more childish expression, and I really do like that. Mikey seems like out of all four of them, he'd be the most childish, if not the most... Uh, I guess childish is the only word I can really describe him, but I really do like that. So with that out of the way, let's actually get Mikey here compared to a few other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Michelangelo posed next to a DC Multiverse Superman and a Marvel Legends Cyclops. Here we do have Mikey posed next to a NECA Kratos and a NECA Pennywise. And finally, here we have Michelangelo posed next to the rest of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually take a look at Mikey's articulation. Now he does have some pretty good articulation for a turtle. His head is on a ball joint. He can look up a good amount. He can look down surprisingly amount. He can tilt his head really far to the side and to the other side. Really do like the articulation there. Can rotate all the way around, although why would you do that? You don't want to kill poor Mikey here. His bandana does rotate and like I said, it, that is interchangeable. Arms go out to about that far, which is pretty impressive. They do a full 360, but just like with Donatello, they do jet out at an angle, going inward, and then go out when you get to the shell, so no hindrance on the shell right there. No bicep swivel, but we do have a swivel hinge in the elbow. We do get double bend in the elbow, which works really well, and that does rotate. We have forearm swivel, which I don't know why they have it, but it is there if you really want it. He has a swivel and a hinge in the wrist, and that works no problem. He does have a ball joint in the torso, but because of the way the shell is, you're not going to get too much back or forward movement on that. So just be aware that you get some slight movement. But it's not a lot. We do get some nice tilt action right there. The shell is a little bit soft, but it's not the softest. It's still a pretty hard plastic. Legs go out to about that far. They would go a little further, but I don't want to push how far these can actually go. Swivel at the thigh, go forward and back. Double bend in the knee. Swivel at the knee. Although it's a little stiff on Mikey, and maybe it's the knee pad, let's see. Yeah, it's just the knee pad, it swivels just fine. Again, double jointed knees, ankles go forward, they go back, and then forward facing pin for rocker ankle. Although the joints on Mikey's feet are kind of tight, if they're tight for you, heat them up, don't end up forcing your, them to go because you might end up breaking the figure. So with his articulation out of the way, let's actually get Mikey posed for my final thoughts. And so here we have Michelangelo posed for my final thoughts. Overall, this is a really well done figure from NECA, and I really do love the way he came out. The expression on this figure is just perfect, and the fact that they gave Mikey the thumbs up is the perfect gesture for the, this character. One issue I do have is the string. I'm not too sure how long the string will last on the nunchucks, but I am still glad that they went with the string rather than plastic. I'd rather the string break and be able to fix than plastic that's going to break the moment you take it out of the packaging. Other than that, I really do love the way Mikey came out. I love the amount of detail and effort that NECA put into these turtle figures. If you are looking for the Ninja Turtle movie figures, they are exclusive to GameStop. Although if you have the San Diego, San Diego Comic Con version of these guys, you get more accessories. I am glad NECA made a single release and made it available to the public. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other NECA and Ninja Turtle videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.